I come from a place where there is more than what you see uh, Culture is a thing, it's in the music that we sing whoa. And I ain't gonna lie, sometimes the walls are closing in yeah. Everyone has got a gimmick in the city called Benin uh, Good food, good people, mm, lot of passion yeah. And we got a lot of pride, ain't about the harsh tax mm. And our history suggests that we have had a hard pass So yeah. you gotta know the smile we show is just a large max But uh, I'm feeling so special, yeah. things are getting better I look out for my brother, that makes it feel important whoa. Precious not a quality, is what we call our doctors uh, And we look for the remedy to help us face the darkness uh, And that's why I've been coming I know the scope And this little light I'll let it show I keep you in mind as I carry go If I'm leaving love then I'm running off Hello and welcome to episode 22 of Africanists Assemble As new digital media and technologies are constantly evolving and gaining more prominence We asked our contributors to reflect on their risks and potentials the question we asked them this month is, what risks and or potentials do you see in the usage of new digital media and technologies on African languages, literatures or studies? Let's hear their answers. What a wonderful question or something to really ponder about. Before you talk about the digital world, let's first talk about what happened before we started to write some of our stories in literature, what were the advantages of oral literature? One of the advantages was that you heard a story, you digested it, and you retold the story. The story started to develop from one generation to the other. Until now, when soul authorship started to grow, and there were very, very few community written stories anymore. Stories that have been passed from generation to generation. Now in the digital world, the advantage we have instead of a risk is that many more people will get to know about our way of creation, our creativity. I do not see any risks that will be associated with going digital. As we say in Yoruba, Ayeyi Anto, the world is rolling on its course, and we the people follow it. It is the way of the world. It is the way in which the African culture has grown. We adapt, we adopt, and we share what we know with the rest of the world. So what I see the digital or digitality doing is to create more friends and fans for African literature, or African studies, or even African languages. Ukufikelela kubu kwepeshe kule mila buza ne mingini kunye na matuba mahle kwimfundo ngelu imiza se Afrika no ngwati. Ukukala ukuba sitinga nge mingini eza noku Kukuba ukupala uluimi kia lathleka. Kuba abo bazibanda kanya eko sebenzi sene ubutwepeshe. Bipala uluimi babe benga kwazi kakuhle ukupala. Baba nefute kwindlela ekupalwa ngayo uluimi neenza kubeko izi pene. Nango na kunjalo, ama tuba wona manenzi kakulu. Ule mitla. Ukufikelela kubutwepeshe, kukulisa ukufikelela kuilwimi sase Afrika. Ngoku abapandi na bafundi, bangakwazi ukusebenzi sa ubutwepeshe, bekangela uluwazi, umzegelo. Ukuba umpandi ufuna i kopas yeskosa, angakwazi ukukwenza oko, Ngoku kangela ama pepa ne nwati ezi palwenge shkosa. Kananjalo akwazi ukufikelela kumangana wa apa nukusebenza ezi kama eso ikopas keukutu ezama ukwenza upando olo lwake. Ngoku kibeli, aba fundi na ba pandi kwezi fundo ngeli mwiza se Afrika no nwati pangetu wakakulubu kwepeshe ukupanda baze ba hambise upando luabo. Ngoko ke, 
maninzi amathuba adalwa bubuchwepeshe bale mihla kana njalo ekukhuliseni nasekufundiseni ulwini what i'm going to be focusing on the risk in the usage of new media and technology on african language literature and african studies in general we have had quite a lot of studies that talk about the benefits of these innovations and technologies it's okay but i want to bring attention to the fact that with the use of this technology transmitting the linguistic component to the language there's likely to be the possibility of what i call the loss of original milieu in the transmission of the language we have often latin african language from appearance and then that's at the africa setting before migration and they were became a global village now with this transmission here and there people can study the language anywhere they are but they will not be able to learn it from the milieu so that is a very important thing to know number two is that there's lack of connectivity to roots now when people can study the language from wherever they are in any country and get linguistic competence they might not be able to go back to their roots and studying language has always been one of the things bringing africans back home over the years to come and learn the language at home but with technology i think that has been erased and it's a great loss to africa as a whole to a large extent and that leads us to the most important which is loss of cultural knowledge african knowledge is unique and different from european language you can be okay with the linguistic components of competence of European language is okay but when you come to Africa the culture is embedded in the language and to actually get the best you must learn, you have to learn it in the milieu and to be connected to your roots to be able to get this cultural knowledge and so I'm going to be advocating for what we call the program the urban linguistic that is language immersion program for Africans who are abroad or try to come back home to be able to get part of the culture and they also have lots of dynamism documenting language is beautiful but as time goes on if we are not careful this will serve as what we call the point de repair they are going to be there and then people will just aim to get to that level of those original documents and not be able to tweak the language to ensure that the language meets contemporary realities in the future so that is a situation we're likely going to be having in and then we have the last one i want to wear in is creativity Writers in African language who have lived in Africa, people like uh, Shimamada Adichie, people like um, uh, Shino Achebe, uh, people like uh, 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 Woleshon Inka, Madu Kurmans, when they write, you see that Africanness because they are deeply rooted in their culture. They didn't just learn the language outside. But when you see writers who have never lived in Africa, that, that's, that's, that's a whole different thing. Thank you very much. Uru de no sorons de retos your honor, nan canozo, no mama so soga, nagomagoga, gunier. O gane will be good sorons de retos your honor. Obu sit in a comaco, now upon de potagastre de capuco gugunu de de, upon tacoco, magazine, nandio zoga, case ye de, now basuzi. Tata. I want to website Agumago, even your go, and you day, Sine de Managi Yenikuku, de Kawaza, Twitter, Facebook, Telegram, Instagram, Amazon, Kendo, LinkedIn, the Rizago, and can I call it in with the Medon or Sesso, and to chat number one retaro. In way, oh, here in Zerito, the name will gi or Google, and Ke or two or one, no. Na go kareta agumago. Nkwa lita oru agumago. Inye nendi o go heri unwe ta. Eba wendo ta ni unwe nkware toka na oru ahono. Nga wanye ni hunku suru mba so mba agumago. Na so so mba Afrika. Nye mbo wani ile. Nkwa lita usuru nzi koruta ozi. Nkwa lita usuru nchocha na mba sa. Nchocha o seso. Inwe to ozi o seso. Inwe usuru mme koreta kama. Mba mwe rite chiche na agumago na asusu. Ima kone ima ja asusu na agumago mba Afrika na mba ndi ofisi. Ime ko wanine buru utu. Ime komumu na nkuzi asusu na agumago dinfe. Eno lolo mwabu ebo obole echo reno mwa asusu. Owa mdine si na ya gunire. 
Asusu ndi eje wulite nkanonzu, ba asusu ndi mbo ofesi. Ona ara ahu kwa mbwe kwa mbwe, iji asusu mba Afrika, kwe si puta maku puta otu inye si di, mba ane ite kote chicha Afrika, ni iji mba nde banye nke nkanonzu. Otutu bo sere bagu mago, na ndi ogo, juru eju ni internet ana gerutere, otutu ndi Afrika, ndi bini imu imu obudu. Akma moka anebute nkawa na nke sago mago na asoso mba Afrika. Nke na gani nye bucha asoso na ago mago ha. Oke mba go newe gyo nkwa nye ugu. Na nche kwa nye mwe mbi aka nka. Otutu akukwa nka ane nyo chagizi nka oma. Nke nebute oke mbi puta na adege mma. Nso bu nke mwe wako la triki. Ebe mwe ni mwe oka na ga adigide ya na oki mwo penyo penyo. Ewe ego isu tinji nene nyoko. Oku ubyam, nke ewe ege jazo tangworo na data. Nde uni. I know that innovations in technologies and new digital media pose serious threats to the sustenance and development of African languages but I consider the potentials of more significance. For instance, language usages in social media platforms contribute to the spread and dominance of English over African indigenous languages, leading to language shift and even threat to African languages. Besides, African languages play minimal roles in different new media usages, this factor contributes to negative language attitude, especially among youth towards African languages because they do not see the relevance of African languages in contemporary society. However, the potentials of new digital media usages on African language, African literature, Studies on African languages and literature are enormous if recognized and well utilized. In practical terms, I will outline five potentials of technologies on African language studies. The internet, including social media, facilitates access to vast and diverse literature on African language, African literature, African studies. Accessibility of such literature serves invaluable earn in African studies. Two, in contemporary times, there exist social media platforms and blogs with focus on African history, linguistic practices in African society, African culture. These platforms often provide primary information which facilitates the study of African languages and culture. Sometimes the fear that such information may not be accurate is raised. However, a careful study of the reactions and comments will assist in separating facts from fiction. Three. New digital media also offer scholars opportunities, if well arranged, to interact with the study population without necessarily traveling across spaces. This facilitates studies of African languages and literature. Four, new digital media provide platforms to disseminate information from studies to wider and diverse audience across time and space. Five, technology facilitates interactions and collaborations among scholars in the field of African studies who may never have the opportunity to meet physically. Such collaborations have contributed positively to scholarship and the general development of African languages literature and cultural studies. In summary, since technology will keep evolving and will keep impacting 
greatly on every discipline of study, including African studies, it becomes more profitable to focus on the potentials and to utilize some of the identified potentials to develop the discipline rather than focusing on the negative aspect. Metabo ya kereu ya omemere kia Nijira iria igi hoti vya godhu duro kwa ohoro Ngano oro hamwe nadeto Sia kushaja mura adu Metabo eno ne hoti dagi ya kutauruo kuiguo Ona kumemere kio kwa ohoro Ngano, bisha, na thenema shitika nete Kwa muhiano, vimo ya mongorio Metabo ya kambiuta Karavisheni, kameme kana radio, YouTube, Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Burogi, Emailo na igenye ige. Reketua peririe korora mieke iria mita bueno ya okinya neria ikora gonayo. Wabere... Metabo ya kirewe ya umemere kia no kinyaneria ni mieke miega ya kukuri ya viyomi hamwe na kirela getaro ine kia Afrika. Jiraishi na ito meteo taramu no dhudhuria wegie viyomi na kirela getaro ine kia Afrika othereme na jiranyi ige muno. Kwa muhiano adwa ige ni mahotete ukinyiruo ni ngano na adetosi ya gosha jamura kwa ito kira ngendai ngendai neta. Metabo ya kampyuta, dhimo ya mongorio, kameme, karavisheni na ige nyige. Netoko lirika na ate hedere ya kurali na kingoki ya COVID. Adwa ige ni mara hotire wukoroma gishemani ya kuhito kira ngeda ine shia kompyuta na metabo ya internet. Ona dhudho shio no wukoreto na mishemani yoteo kuhito kira ngeda ine itika nete ta Zoom, Skype. Microsoft Teams na ige nyige. Udwa kere ni ati adwa ige ni mahotete goto mira mita bueno ya kereu ili taki humo kia mohoro na jira shia go shaja mura ado. Gudhaka madhako magere kano itiga nete oro hamwe na uhori wa via shara na odhi wa nabere. Ono nge, ni ate, jiraishi shia kereu, na itikanda ite na jira shia tene shio memere kia. Neto odo, na ihotaga gukinyeri ya do, aigio horo, na odo wa kwa mokera na kushoka neria. Kwa muhiano, kwa hito kera adhimo ya mongorio, ado ni mahotaga kwa la neria, na kushoka neria, kwa hito kera ajira ta WhatsApp na SMS. Ono ori onge, ni ate, Jiraishi na ihotithagia do gudheremia na gotabia ngano na adetoshi ya gosha ajamura ado kuhitokira metabota, tiktoki, twitter, instagram na igenyige. Odo wa amuthia ni ati jiraishi ni shione kanaga na jira shiara idhimono. Shitire goro. Kwa muhiano ni ado igire umahotete kukoro menadhi moshi ya mongorio. Na ni mashito magira kumemere kia na kutheremia ngano na ndeto ige shia kushaja mura. Lekele uturore mwena wa mogu wa timari ya magioneka ni todo wa mitabo ya kereu. Ugu wa tiuri ya mwena ni ati mitabo ya kereu ni hoti dhagi ya kutherema na kutaba kwa ngano na ndeto italegi nyaneru. Ni shio shita kwa fake news. Kwa guo, remwe na remwe, niko kora guo hinyago kora na rureda ruama na rotari ruama. Ni hakele vata ado madhomi vyo, uhoro wago kora na ngeda taishi. Na odoyo ni wagele ile, nigaitha modu wakamba wekira deto kanangano mkode. Atana tomera ado wage kanago sivere mia. Niwega. When we talk about the risk or potentials involved in the usage of digital media when it comes to African languages, 
first let me start with the risk which i think is very minimal in my opinion minimal in the sense that to me i just think maybe the speakers might think they no longer have power over their language because it's been widespread that they know they can no longer hold the power they used to have if i use for example if i look uh, look at the language like uh, tree I am not so informed about tree, for example, but I've been hearing some Ghanaian colleagues and friends saying we actually have a tree on us. But then it's been made like more of a national language that everyone speaks such that to say this is these are the main speakers of tree, for example, it might be a little bit difficult. Some of the speakers might feel like, oh, we are not identified with our own language because now everyone speaks the language of which Others would rather feel proud that everyone now speaks the language. So to me, I was like, this can be the limitation, especially when it comes to social media in particular, when, you know, it is this potential of adding new words of language involving very fast when it comes to social media, really changing. So maybe the speakers might feel like we no longer hold this power you we used to have. On the other hand, I rather think they are potentials because yes, more people get to speak this language more people get to get access to this language your language is even more respected your language is more valued when digital media is involved and you have better ways of expressing your language when for example you have to use text to express your language you reach out to more people you say things that you might not have had the opportunity to say it one-on-one -on -one to somebody or maybe that time that you take to reflect on what you want to put out there on your language or about your language. I think these are potentials like green language. Yeah, when uh, digital media is used more, to me the potentials about African languages is that they are going to grow more, the rich areas that we were not expecting and African languages consequently might, might turn out to be more valuable than it is now because if more people who are foreigners even get to learn your language and speak your language through different means like digital media they tend to value your language and even make you value your own language more than you were doing before if i'm asked what risks or potentials i see in the usage of new digital technologies on african studies or literature or even languages, I would opt to comment on the risks or what I may call relative digital failing. This actually occurs when an unoriginal act is captured by the digital technology and is taken as a standard form. Let us take the video recording of oral performances as a case. These are performances that have limitations because there's actually a limitation on how far the video recording of the oral performance can go. Most film producers, whether Nollywood or Hollywood, you know, require the enactment of several performances of a particular scene for the perfect one to emerge. And this is what is actually, you know, displayed to the audience. But in the case of oral performance, it is different. Uh, there is no repetition of filming for the standard, perfect, scenic event to be captured. So even though video recording has the advantage of producing a picturesque view of the oral performance and displaying the accompanying meaningful performative gestures and mannerisms of the performer for viewers' pleasure and analysis, it drastically reduces on, or, I mean, originality. So performing in front of the camera reduces originality of rendition. This is because it creates some sense of anxiety on the performance. I am talking with respect to oral performance. In, in this instance, the camera becomes a strange intervener watching what seems to be an enactment of an unoriginal event. So if the camera captures this, whatever it records now, if or unoriginal, becomes the imperfect performative event that we now have to put up with because there's no other way of recreating the oral performance event or segments of it. 
So the camera in itself, which to filming in Nollywood or Hollywood is a very useful equipment, becomes less useful for video recording of the oral performative event. This, I believe, is one of the risks of deploying digital technology in African studies. Uhoro wigi mogu wati na miyakele yuma ni itana uthi iwa anabere wa teknoloji siya kiriu alithi omi mafuku na kirela ke Afrika ni uhoro wa afata. Nyegu wali uhoro wigi idi omi siya Afrika na gukoro wani siyo ke humo ke ya mafuku na kirela ke Afrika. Gishu jikiria kio etu wani idi omi si siya Afrika hali teknoloji ya kiriu ni kini ini mbono na nekira afatara kuwari liria. Mohoro na ugi ulea ule nedha ini siya uke nyaneria. Wegi idi omi siya Afrika na muige. No onakure uguwele. Mohoro marea mari kuwa maali kito na adi omi siya Afrika. Nema nini mwono. Uduwe utumi ite kugie na wagi wa uma. Wegi ifata wa adi. Na weira wa adi omi siya Afrika. Dini wa Afrika. Na dini ya wadi. Ige hudhira agere kanore ya arudi omiru wa gedo uwele ile. Kili na ali ya makeri ya mamiri yoni magana meri vini wale. No na kuri uguo. Gishu jikiri ya gidhu wali kio yata vini wane da gurani. Niki nini kikiri gidhu ni wana uvyo mitaru wa keidachi. Kili ya kera gyo ni ado tamiri yoni mirogo yiri na idhano. Ni hali fata wago isiri ya keri mutu wakwe hoka ado. Kumaja wa Afrika makuri ya vini si ya Afrika. Mbirikari, madhukuru na miogano vini wa Afrika ni agri hone kuerutera makiria. Mutigiri rata hithi omisi Afrika iti rata higo dhuza. Hali moga roku maa teknoloji mario marikuwele. Igi hodhira chat GPT ita agri kano ya teknoloji ya hida ikuwe makiria. Ukinyanagia nari unira hao takuru totu gata dhini wa adhi omikumi. Noga takata inega adhi omisi hatiri onaru mweru wa Afrika. Ino ni gere kanutu ya ule ya biyo misi Afrika siya lagu isi yona kuhe omu weke hali teknoloji isi siya kiri. Ne hali fata wagu isi ya kiri. Uli ya tuki ni itaite ni hali kududuri ya moga luku maria mari dhini wagu iluti wagu yoni. Na makiri ya kuatani lwele yereho na takate karoti yomi na teknoloji. Ne tu wagu yone kuluta niri ya kuadeka na kuluta mohoro maigi makiri ya kuhele la biyo misi Afrika. Hamuwe na kuhodhira mitaratara taya utawuli aliguwe kwa huo. There are a lot of potentials or risks in the use of new digital media and technologies in African language literature or studies. The potentials for the usage of new digital media and technologies on African language literature or studies include a preservation the new digital media and technologies have the potency of preserving African languages, literature, and studies. B. Presentation. It also has the potency of presenting African language, literature, or studies in the best format available and appreciable. C. Promotion. The new digital media and technology is a potential source of promoting African languages, literature, and studies. D. Protection. African language literature or studies could also enjoy the protective mechanism of the new digital media and technologies. E. Distinctive cooperative advantage. This is another area where the new digital media and technologies holds potential advantage that can advance African language literature or studies. F. Comprehensiveness and knowledge capacity building. New digital media and technologies also have potential advantage in this regard. It goes on among others. There are also risks associated with the usage of new digital media and technologies on Africa languages, literature or studies. These include devaluation from inherent and contextual values, desecration of chants and other African spiritual languages, execution of language coded secrets, and unfavorable criticism of what is misunderstood about African language literature and studies, or rather 
culture. What Gutenberg printing press was for the Europeans during the Renaissance era, the new media and technology can be for the African people. I see the new media as a valuable storehouse for the promotion, preservation, and production of African indigenous linguistic expressions, literature, sensibilities, as well as other forms of oral artistic expressions. Worthy of note is the fact that linguistic inclusion is an integral aspect of digital rights. Hence, writers and content creators are at liberty to bypass all forms of Eurocentric restrictions placed on their work. This avails writers the opportunity to tell their stories and reflect their experiences. The digital space has the potential of making translation processes easier as African literature written in African indigenous languages can be translated to different world languages for easier accessibility and wider coverage. Cultural education can also be transmitted through digital st storytelling techniques. Traditional moonlight tales, for instance, can be relocated and recreated in its purest form in virtual spaces as the contemporary equivalent of prehistoric and pre-colonial African tales. Digital adaptations and game creation can bring about legends and myths that enable African children see their history and adjust and be able to identify their potentials as Africans. Proverbs as well as readers can also be developed to keep learners abreast with their communal and rich oral tradition. These are the potentials I see. Mimi na viona, tunasaidiwa sana na mitandao ya kijamii na pia uwezekano wa uboreshaji wa digitali. Katika masomo ya fasihi, hasa nikiangalia uzoefu wangu wakati wa janga kubwa la COVID-19. Naona kwamba nilijifunza mengi kwa mijadala ya Zoom iliyohusu fasihi ya Kiswahili. Kwa mfano mmoja, nilipata nafasi ya kuwasikiliza waandishi Faruk Topa na Abdelatif Abdalla na Alamin Mazrui na Shafi Adam Shafi na Penina Mohando na Ngugi wa Thiongo katika mijadala iliyoitwa Chungu na Tamu za waandishi wa Kongwe mnamo mwaka wa elfu mbili na ishirini na moja kwa Zoom. Na pia vipindi hivyo vya mijadala vinapatikana kwa YouTube mpaka sasa. Kwa kweli na virudia mara kwa mara. Ilikuwa ni raha kabisa kwangu kuwasikiliza waandishi hao na kuzingatia fasihi ya Kiswahili kwa namna hiyo. Na kupata kuelewa zaidi kuhusu maisha na maoni ya waandishi hao na hali ya fasihi ya Kiswahili kwenye wakati fulani wakati maalum katika historia ya Afrika ya Mashariki. Tena ilikuwa sio kwao tu bali nilijifunza mengi kwa kuwasikiliza wengine waliojiunganisha washabiki wenzangu wa fasihi ya Kiswahili wanoishi wanoishi Afrika ya Mashariki hata mpaka Afrika ya Magharibi na Afrika ya Kusini walipoleta maoni na maswali yao. Yaani nilikutana na jumuiya za wasomaji ambazo kweli ni singaliweze kuzijua wala kujiunganisha nazo bila ya mtandao. Bila shaka pia na pendeleo uwezekano wa uboreshaji wa digitali kuhifadhi na kuvionyesha vitu adhimu kama miswada na picha na kueneza maarifa. Lakini hapo kuna haja pia ya miundo mbinu fulani ya utaalamu na fedha Tena kwa miaka mingi kwa wakati mrefu la sivyo uboreshaji wa digitali unatusaidia kuhifadhi vitu ndio lakini bila ya kueneza maarifa hasa na maswali kama hayo ya ufadhili na ujuzi 
kwa vipindi vya miaka mingi mara nyingine ni magumu For this month's question I would like to say that there are potentials and also there are risks in the usage of new digital media technologies on African languages First of all I would like to say that new digital media makes most African languages globally visible. It also makes them available for even though Africans that are in the diaspora. When it's online, it becomes available for even researchers to work with. New digital media can also serve as a storehouse for preserving languages. As regards to the risks of the new digital media technology one can say that new digital media technologies are not static they keep evolving and when one digital media is being created the old one tends to be neglected and probably um redundant and people tend to go with the new digital media that is in vogue then secondly language as a means of communication can also be distorted as um new digital media as a way of fast communication people can design to coin our new languages from these african languages and before you know it it's become a new slang and it will be all over so what i would say is that uh, the new digital media has its advantages and also disadvantages Lobla bla jeti ma ya bla mode oda na blo nga be yo ba be bu a blo nga blo ye pepe ke ko be de be ye ye ya te na oba li ponja mon tongai ma le pa tu ke mon mi oba blo ba mon fon ke li poli mon ma ke pa tu ke mon oba blo ba mon ye li blo ba mon ku in wene to yo tu yo na yi oda na blo nga a blo ye pepe mi na oda na bu nga bu nga a mi ka ke bi blo ye po ni de be wo yi o ba wo bu bu wo bu ma o so wo bu bu mo de wo do ke li ke li mo nja mo ni ke na li be ke o ye na yo fi yo na e do li ke li pe li pe yo tu ge na ma li li po nja mo ton ai ma eh o so o ba li ke li pe li pe ja mo na ai ma je li je li ke li ya ke ka wo do na li li be ke but o bi ba jo de bu yi ma o de li ponja mon to nga na li pele o ba blo be de be ke ikbo o ye na o ko en ikbo wakan tin we o ko blo ye pepe and o ko li ko li monja mo ni o to nga na ko li mo i ka ka ku e bo ni o de machine or technology or computer ma ni li mo li ko ja mon to nga ma ni li li ma bo ma o fe amon yo fo ni li ko li mo le bo li pon ni mo mo lo po ma ma ka ma wene ma no fe mo yo 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 fo ni li ka li mo yo no yo yo fo ni wene yo to ngai li ka li mo ma eh eh ye ka ka kuba ye funi ke ma blo ye pe pe be funi ke ma i mean then can be eh mo do bo wen no de be a ko fe ya mo ti o ku won ti mo yo ka di li ka li pe li pe li ka li pe li pe o ba blo ye pe pe be de be be li pon ni mo ntu na li fe ya be li pe li ta li ne ma e ablo mbe ko ne na e ma wo ko bi ko ni ba ne na e yi ma li ka li mo ta nta e nka ba e e ko ko e e e e ton ku ba do yo nto da a ka o fe ya mo yo yo na lo ka lo mo yo 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 na je ba le no fe ya even lo me ma a a machine ma mo nto ai me na li kaka kuli mo mi lo fe mo yo fon ko li po ni mo no e na do me lo ko lo mo ma lo to li ke e po ni ba li pe li ke so no the dem ti o na aja yo ti e le ko lo mo nto o na to lo na blo ni ba ka be e po ni na a da e po ni ku we be blo ni ku we be blo ye pe pe fun ni ke ma ti o ti lo li ko li mo o aja li ama li ko li po ba tu li mo mi de li ku wo je den no blo ma yo pele adam i a ada li 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 po ji kini bo li pele 
These were all the contributions we received this month, offering various opinions on the matter. What do you think about this month's question? Do you see any risks in digital media for African languages, literatures or studies? What about potentials? Tell us about it in the comments below. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Africanists Assemble. If you don't want to miss next month's episode, make sure you have subscribed to our channel. See you for the upcoming episode of Africanists Assemble. No deny it's a fact, I'm a child of the land, this city be sad, that's the place I reside, yeah. Southside Nigeria, major hysteria, but we like the cruise and we love the euphoria, Whoa. but I will not imply that everything is fine, a lot of people suffering, the poverty on the rise, we do not believe in crime, even though we hear the sighs, still we look up to the sky and pray the future will be fine, god damn, life is in the blast, but at least we're not dead, we'll be working very hard to solve our problems, and we respect the motherland and all our projects, and we ain't gonna stop until we get the success, what else? And we steady though Yes, she they fly super egos And this little light I'll let it show If I'm needing love then I'm running on